This technique is very effective when used under the right situations. The technique involves separating or splitting the dividend into parts where each part is evenly divisible by the divisor. Before we get to the technique, let's review the notes on the right. For division problems, when the divisor is smaller than the dividend, we should determine the number of digits in the answer. That helps us to stop and calculate for the remainder. Review this technique under the division chapter. Let's begin. This technique involves just adding zeros to the divisor until the value becomes larger than the dividend. So let's add zeros to 3. 1, 2, and 3. It becomes 3,000. When it becomes larger than the dividend, stop and then count the number of zeros. There are three zeros, so that means that in the final answer, there will be three digits excluding the remainder or any decimal portion. Now let's begin with the technique. We need to separate this number where each part is divisible by three. Try to use as few parts as possible. So in this example, let's split the number 1,296 into two parts of 12 and 96. Then starting on the left, divide each part by 3. One key component is for the total number of digits of each part, the result must match the total number of digits. That means the answer or the result must contain the same number of digits as the number of digits in each part. Then just divide 12 by 3 to get 4. For the leftmost part, we do not have to match the total digits of the part. 12 has 2 digits. The answer of 4 has 1. Because this is on the leftmost side, adding a 0 to the left of 4 is not necessary because 4 represents the first digit of the answer. Continuing to the second part, divided by 3. 96 divided by 3 is equal to 32. 96 has 2 digits and 32 has 2 digits. The final answer contains 3 digits as determined here. This technique is very effective under the right situations. Keep in mind that each part of the split must be evenly divisible by the divisor. Let's begin. Let's determine the number of digits in the final answer before we solve for the answer. Add zeros to 17. In this case, we need 5 zeros for the divisor to become larger than the dividend. Let's begin. The divisor is 17. Therefore, by looking at the number, we need to split 511,734 into three parts of 51, 17, and 34. Then divide each part by 17, starting on the left. 51 divided by 17 is equal to 3. Then divide 17 by 17, which is equal to 1. Because this is not the leftmost part, there are two digits here. The result must also contain two digits, so add a zero to the left.
Now for the last part, divide 34 by 17, which is equal to 2. Once again, we have two digits. Two is only a single digit, so add a zero to the left of two. There are one, two, three, four, five digits in the final answer as we have determined in the beginning.